The main episode begins within 2019 as it lays out the demise of Michael Carnwald Jonas' dad who takes his own life in puzzling conditions. Michael leaves a cell. F destruction note which is in the end eliminated by his mom in S before it falls into any other person's hands. Jonas winds up in the mental office and gets once again to school following two months. To figure out his dearest companion Bartas is dating his previous love Martha. Bafflingly one of the understudies concentrating on in their school, Erika Bendorf vanishes. Ulrich Nielsen, the dad of Martha. Magnus and Mikkel is apportioned to the missing case. Ulrich is additionally uncovered to be going behind his significant other Katharina's back with Jonas' mom Hannah. The next night Jonas, Bartos, Martha, Magnus, Mikkel and Franziska Doppler intend to find a reserve of medications that were concealed by Eric close to the caverns, they hear a thundering from the caverns and escapes yet. Loses Mikkel in the caverns situated close to the wind and thermal energy station. The quest for Mikkel go on as the next day the body of a kid is found. The examination viewing Mikkel escalates as the body isn't recognized as Mikkel's. He accepts the vanishings of Eric and Mikkel are connected in addition to the vanishing of Ulrich's more youthful sibling Mads who disappeared back in 1986. Ulrich finds his direction into the caverns and finds a locked entryway driving into the thermal energy station inside the cavern yet neglects to get the court order to enter the entryway as he's denied admittance by Alexander Tidyman, the overseer of the plant and Bartas's dad. Another cop named Charlotte Doppler finds that the body that was found was wearing garments from the 80s, peculiar events occur across the town of Winden as a strange individual looks into the inn possessed by Bartas's mom Regina. Parallelly Mikkel awakens and heads home however he becomes acquainted with that he's turn. Head back the clock to 1986 and inadvertently a month after Mads vanished. He finds Egon Tidyman who is Regina's granddad and a cop in Winden. Mikkel is at last given to nurture in S. Carnwald, who is the mother of Michael Carnwald. This is where the spots associate with one another. The course of events of 1986 highlights Claudia Tidyman, Regina's mother and Egon's little girl. Claudia takes the rue, la over the atomic power plant as she is clashed with the previous chief burned Doppler whose child Helge gifts Claudia a book named Ina Reese Dirk Bite the Dust Site, an excursion through time by H.G. Tanhorse which is critical sometime down the road. Then, at that point, the story works out to show Ulrich and Katharina who are dating each other while in secondary school and are mean domineering jerks. While a young rendition of Charlotte is noticing the different demise of birds around the town which again repeats in 2019. Hannah really likes Ulrich while Regina is tormented in secondary school. Ulrich persuaded that his child has vanished through the caverns investigates the caverns again to hear Mikkel's request for help as he gets additionally upset. Charlotte likewise accepts that. The vanishings in Winden is connected with the thermal energy station. The story further uncovers that her union with Peter Doppler is flopping as he's going behind her back with a transsexual lady. N.D. lies about his justification regarding where he was the night Mikkel vanished. Magnus and Francisca draws nearer to one another while Elizabeth Charlotte's more youthful girl who is hard of hearing. G disappears for not many hours to return back with a pocket watch given to her by a man named Noah that she professes to be her mom's. Noah is a vital person who will re-emerge back later in the story. Helge Doppler which is Peter's dad is hit with dementia and meanders around the woodland one fine day letting himself know that he should stop Noah, another youngster Yassin who is companions with. Elizabeth is moved toward by a hooded figure who is sent by Noah. The story gets fascinating as Noah shows up into the course of events of 1986 masked as a cleric visiting Mikkel who broke his leg as. He took a stab at getting away into the caverns. The timetable of 2019 shows that Yasin the kid who was moved toward by the hooded figure has disappeared. The show thickens as a fermented Ulrich reject. T.S. Hannah's effort to revive their undertaking, the man that looks into Regina's lodging guides Regina to send a package to Jonas, Bartos winds up reaching Eric's medication provider who is uncovered to be Noah who we found in the timetable of 1986 yet hasn't matured a day from that point forward. Things begin to seem okay when Jonas gets a bundle from the more interesting that looked into Regina's lodging, he finds a light. 
A Geiger counter and his dad's self-destruction note which was taken before by Ignis. Jonas is stunned as it is uncovered that Michael Carnwald is in fact Michael Nielsen. In S embraces Michael and renames him Michael Carnwald who goes on to wed Hannah and have Jonas. He tracks down the guide of the caverns and wanders into the caverns to find an entryway named Sigmundus C. Reatus Est which is meant, in this way the world was made. The examination of the body that was found uncovers that it is as a matter of fact Mads whose body remains oddly saved from 1986, the Pollock. He at long last gets the consent to check the thermal energy station as Helge Doppler turns into a vital suspect in the examination. Ulrich in the end lands suspended from his position to follow Helge into the forest and finds the very book that was given to Claudia Ina Rees Dork by the dust side by H.G. Tannhorst. In the course of events of 1986, it is uncovered that Helge was likewise a vital suspect then, at that point, and was to be addressed by Egon, he in fact was working with Noah and was connected with the vanishings of Yassin, Eric and Mads. The story gets more convoluted as a third timetable is presented 1953. The groups of Yassin and Eric is found by two cops a more youthful rendition of Egon Tidyman and Daniel Carnwald, the police boss. Ulrich goes through the caverns to enter some unacceptable timetable of 1953 and catches a few local people and unwittingly conveys the book to writer H.G. Tanhorse is yet to deliver the book. Ulrich before long finds a nine-year-old Helge and a T tempts to kill him figuring he can invert the vanishings of the kids. Helge before long recovers his cognizance and goes back to his home while Ulrich gets imprisoned for endeavoring to kill Helge W.H. Icky professes to save the existences of the youngsters. In the timetable of 1986, an envious Hannah dishonestly blames Ulrich for assaulting Katharina. Claudia digs further into the secret of the caverns as the canine she possessed as a youngster in 1953 revisitations of her. She starts to concentrate on the book given to her by Helge. It is uncovered by the burn that there are barrels conk. Yield in the power plant that are the results of an atomic implosion, so she enlists a young runaway named with a phony character named Alexander Kohler to conceal the side effects. Alexander is obviously Alexander Tidyman later on. In 1986, Helge and Noah are believed to be in a contention as the young men were seized to be tried out on a time machine made by Noah which fizzled and wound up killing them. In the course of events of 2019, Regina finds the more peculiar examination that is being directed, Bartos meets his grandma who was apparently dead lastly collaborates with Noah. Noah, H likewise returns in the course of events of 1953 not maturing a day helping Helge's mom as Helge stays missing. While H.G. Tanhorse the writer of the book concentrates on the PDA Ulrich abandoned in his shop. He's visited by the Morod as they examine the hypothesis of time travel through worm openings, the outsider at last affirms that such a wormhole is available in the town of Winden Witcher. Lowe's an individual to travel 33 years into the past and future. The outsider's hands a machine that can obliterate the wormhole to Tanhorse who after the more unusual leaves, looks at it to one he has. Of now has and plans of the machine that was given to him by Claudia existing in 2019 back in 1953. The season finale is loaded up with exciting bends in the road as it is uncovered that Peter Doppel. R is the one that moved Mad's body in 2019 however Claudia comes and teaches him to move the body into the forest. Then, at that point, the course of events movements to show 1986 where the time travel. Ing Jonas is grabbed by Noah and Helge as he plans to take Mikkel back to 2019. The 2019 Helge heads out back to 1986 to kill his more youthful self however accidentally kills the more seasoned him. Char, Raylot in the course of events of 2019 explores into Helge being gone after when he was nine and finds Ulrich's mugshot in the examination records. Jonas awakens to view himself as in Noah's fortification and is visited by the more bizarre. It is uncovered as a shock that the outsider is obviously a more seasoned form of Jonas himself. The more established rendition of Jonas endeavors to obliterate. The wormhole made in the caverns yet rather turns into the explanation the wormhole is made in any case. 
The wormhole interfaces Helge from 1953 to Jonas in 2019 and the two of them switched places as Helge is shipped to 2019 and Jonas to 2050 where what's to come stays disheartening and wind and sparkles in a post-end of the world coating.